No one can deny that Pennsylvania's roads and bridges are aging and need attention. The problem has been finding enough money to address the needs. There are projects yet to even be conceived, but we can't have people out there dreaming, planning, and executing if they don't have this framework. That's what this provides, Mr. Speaker. This is a night of possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. House Bill 3 gives us the possibility to start really solving our transportation problems. I want that possibility whether you live in the southeast, the northwest, the southwest, wherever. Possibilities, House Bill 3, very good. Public-Private Partnership, or P3. It allows Pennsylvania to enter into agreements with private companies. The state will still own the assets, but contract with private entities who put up money to help reconstruct old roads and bridges or build new ones. They recoup their costs, most commonly through tolls. It's an idea that's working in other states. They're already doing this in Virginia on the Dulles Airport Road and in Chicago on the Chicago Skyway Bridge. It's just another way to see whether we can find the money to do the transportation projects that we need to do. A top goal for House Republicans this session has been passing laws that allow businesses to grow and create jobs. Allowing private capital to jumpstart transportation projects can lead to thousands of jobs for Pennsylvania workers. This will bring an awful lot of private investment capital into the state of Pennsylvania. It's going to employ a lot of people in the trades, a lot of consulting engineers, a lot of the construction industry and in the materials industry. There will be benefits immediately once they ramp up across the state. Enacting P3 legislation was recommended by Governor Corbett's Transportation Funding Advisory Commission, and they're also endorsed by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Private sector has the money to invest, and Pennsylvania's roads and bridges need the help. The venture capital market is, has no boundaries. It doesn't matter whether it's Canada, Australia, Europe. Uh, there is a plethora uh, of investment capital that wants to invest in projects in America. And P3 projects tr typically return between 9 and 13 percent. And that's better than most people can do in short-term investments or long-term investments. So pension funds and, and others who are used to doing these projects all over the world are very, very interested in investing in the Northeast United States. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York are very fertile fields uh, for this kind of stuff to happen. While P3s will become a vital part of the state's transportation future, they alone cannot solve the full funding problem that the state has. Lawmakers will continue seeking solutions to help maintain and expand our infrastructure.